Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are making these gorgeous little Easter bunny bags that you see right here. <laughs> Colour combination chosen for our bags was chosen by the lovely Elaine on one of our live antics. We have live antics at 10am Saturday mornings Melbourne Australia time. Marry that up with your country. And one lucky subscriber from our Saturday Mornings Live gets to choose the colour combination. And today's colour was chosen by Elaine. And thank you very much, Elaine, for your colours. Now, the yarn I'm using today is over there. And you will need the amounts that you see there. And you will be needing a 4mm hook and a 3.5mm hook, both of them. This one here we used for the ears at the end, so don't stress too much about it. But at least use a hook size or a half a size smaller than what we're using for the ears, yeah? And you will need, I don't know, three or four stitch markers, a sewing needle, well, you don't need the basket, that's mine. Um, <laughs> uh, you will need plenty of yarn and you will need to double your strand. So you will be needing to put two threads together so that your bag is a little bit strong or thick. At the end of the day, it's gonna carry 100,000 grams of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it? 100,000 grams of eggs. All right, so that's that. I'm not going to talk too much because our tutorials, they do go a long time. I will say, however, that your ears, I've made a mistake with my ears on both of them, not just one, both of them. They're too wide apart. Your ears will be a lot closer. I will uh, tell you to move yours closer. I end up doing this one first and then you see me transition into the next ear and I tell you to move yours a little closer because... I've left mine too far apart. The ears will look better if they are closer, all right? Now, I'm not very good at making pom-poms, so don't judge me on that. If you know how to make better pom-poms, mm, make them. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching us. And once again, a very special thank you to Elaine for her beautiful colours for today's tutorial. Good luck all. Alrighty guys, so now don't forget we are working with two threads at the same time. We're working with our cream and we're going to make a magic loop. So pop the two tails in front and grab the working ends and wrapping it around your fingers just once. And then you'll be forming an X like so. Alright, we're going to pop our hook under the loops and pull that back loop forward. And you've got the one, the one and two in front. You need to grab everything like so yeah now we're going to chain one yarn over our hook pull a loop through and do a single crochet in the same center we're crocheting over our tail and our magic loop there yeah try not to let go of anything pop your hook in the center pull a loop through and this is a single crochet us a double in the uk yarn over your hook pull a loop through like so. Before we go putting stitch markers in, we're going to do one more single crochet US, double UK. Pop your hook in the space, pull a loop through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both those loops. What you want to do is grab this tail and give it a gentle tug, not too much, because we want to fit another six single crochets in the center. So just a gentle tug, leaving a little space. Before we continue, just lift up your thread for a moment. Grab your stitch marker. We're going to pop it in the top two loops of our very first stitch that we created right there. Might be a little bit tight if you're anything like mine, okay? But it's probably a good idea to have one there. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a safety pin, a hairpin, whatever you've got in stock, a little piece of thread, anything, yeah? So now we're going to put another single crochets US or uh, doubles UK in that space. So off you go. This is your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, oops, and seven. Just watch those splitting. <laughs> and one more. Eight. I hope I'm not going too fast for the new crochet. All right. So while you're catching up there, 
To count your stitches, you are counting these little Vs that you see right here. To make sure that you're correct, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochets all together. All right, when you have your eight, you're grabbing, let's bring this out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. See those little tails that we started off with? We're going to give it a tug and it's going to close up the centre like magic. Pop the tails down and at the back. Now, for now, don't cut these tails. You are going to weave them in later and don't think they won't come undone because they can. They are not knotted, yeah? So they can come undone. All right. In the meantime, we are going to slip stitch. Yeah, mine's too tight. Slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. And how you do that is you just pop your hook. You can keep your stitch marker in there. Into the stitch. There's no yarn over. Just pop your hook in the stitch. Wow, mine is very tight. Let's see, did I get it all? And there you go. That's better. Pull a loop through like so and pull it through to the loop on your hook and you have formed your little circle yeah chain one single crochet in the same stitch that you are in so it's going to be a little tight but try and do that single crochet in that stitch like so pop your stitch marker in there right in the top two loops of your stitch in the same stitch, you're going to pop a second single crochet. All right, now be weary, making sure you don't miss that very first stitch. If you don't move this over, like push it right over, you're going to miss that very next stitch. I was actually doing that in the very first one, popping into the next one, and I was two stitches short at the end of the round. So make sure you move that over and you can see that stitch right there and you do two single crochets in there. So one, and two. All right, and then two single crochets in the next. One, and two. Two into the next. Can you see the pattern here? One, and two. Two into your next and so on until you get to the end of the round. It's super duper easy. All right, I bit, went a bit quiet there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're thinking, yo, what's going on with Mary? She's too quiet today. Yes, yes, yes. Only because I'm concentrating. <laughs> It'd be the first time in 10 years. All right, if you did your count correct, you had eight in the beginning. You should have 16 single crochets in this round. So go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And you are counting these little Vs that you see. See those little Vs? That's what you're counting, all right? So 16 little Vs all the way across. Yep. And you are slip stitching into the very first stitch. Pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook. Remove the stitch marker. Chain one. In the same stitch, you are doing a single crochet. Like so. Pop your stitch marker in that stitch right there. Okay, now normally when we do um, circles like this, we usually put your two double crochets in the first stitch. But this pattern is going to move around a lot. So we're going to skip that two double crochets and just leave the one in there. And we're going to put two into the next one. So one, two. And then you single one into the next, just one, like so. And in the next stitch, you put two, one and two. And in the next, you put one. Next, you put two. All right, are you getting the picture? It's 
two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way across. We're on two, so now we need to do one to the next. Oops, I think I've pulled my threads through. Sorry about that, guys. I was right at the very last stitch, too. All right, so what we've done is we've put one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way across. When you get to your very last stitch, which is that one right there, you need to make sure that you are on your two. So I've got two, one, and I need to put two into that very last stitch, which is one and two. Now just be wary, right here where you've got your slip stitch, right, let me get you a close up so you can see, it might look like another stitch but you can see your work is coming out of it, that's your slip stitch so you're not going to put any more in there. Well before we continue, you should have added another 8 to your 16 which would make it 24, so you need to count your stitches, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. If you don't have 24, check your stitch count and make sure you haven't missed a stitch or added one or whatever. Yeah. In the meantime, we are slip stitching into that stitch with your stitch marker. Pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook. Chain one. Oh, you just need to remove that stitch marker, guys. Sorry, I went quiet then. Single crochet. How do you like that? Single crochet into the same stitch that you are in. Grab your stitch marker and popping it into the top loops. You know how to do this now. Top loops. It's top two loops of that stitch, yeah? And from here, you're going to put two single crochets in that first stitch. Before we only put one, this time we're putting two. Move your work over so you can see that very first stitch. Don't miss it, okay? So you're putting one in the first stitch. And now one in the next stitch. All right? So this round is what I like to call two, 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 yeah? So two double crochets in your next stitch. And one single crochet in the next two. So it's one in the first one, one in your next one, and then two into your next, one and two, all into the same stitch. One into your first, one into your second, and two into the next stitch. All right, I'm pretty sure you are getting the picture. Pretty sure you're getting the picture. Oops, my yarn has gone all over the table there. All right, so that's what you have so far. So I'm calling this 222 all the way in the round. So we did two single crochets in that last stitch, and now we're going to go one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Do that all the way until you get to the end of the round, and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round and you should have 32 stitches in the round. Make sure you count your stitches and you should have also ended up with your last one and two at the end of this round and your next stitch would have been two in the same stitch, which we've already done. Yeah. Alright, so for now what we're going to do, uh, firstly, just to let you know, if you want your bag to be small, then you can stop right here and meet us at that time, okay? But if you guys want the bigger bag, then let's continue, all right? So everybody else who wants a small bag can go to that time there. But for the rest of us, now you may notice that your work is starting to bow a little bit. That's because it's, getting, it's becoming wavier, all right? Because we are putting a lot of stitches in. So with this round here, we're not going to add any stitches. We're just going to do... A round of single crochet so let's slip stitch into the stitch first oh, with your stitch marker remove it chain one 
and single crochet in the same stitch that you are in. Pop your stitch marker back in and make sure you don't miss that first stitch right there and single crochet in every stitch in the round. Now what this will do is it'll just tighten up your work so you don't get that wave. All right, we're going to increase in the next round. But for now, it's a single crochet into every stitch in the round. And I don't need to show you, I'm sure you can do that. Single crochet in every stitch in the round. When you get to your very last stitch, you should end up with exactly the same amount of stitches, which is 32 stitches. All right, so single crochet into every stitch, get to this stitch marker right here, and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round and you notice it may have tightened that up a bit, which is what we're looking for. And you should still have 32 stitches. And what you're going to do is slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. That never changes. All right, right now it never changes. And we are going to chain one, tighten it up a little bit, single in your first stitch right there. All right. Pop your stitch marker in. Alrighty, so not the round that we just completed, but the one before that we had two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Now what we're going to do is two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and so on. But this time we're going the other way around. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. All right, so you've got your one that we've already done. A second one in your next one and a third one in your next one so one two three two in your next all right so two single crochets in exactly the same stitch and then one three across so one two and three two into your next it's a super easy round they're all pretty much easy all right so one two I'm going really fast sorry guys three I forget when I go off air I go very quickly and then two into your next all right so one and two so I don't think I need to show you this round anymore this is an increase round so one two three two one two three two and so on and so on get to the very last stitch and I'll meet you there once you're done Alrighty guys, so here we are at the end of this round. So notice how that round before this kept our work nice and straight, yeah? Alright, now I haven't done my last stitch and I know for a fact that we need to put two single crochets in that very last stitch. So don't forget those two single crochets or you'll be two single crochets short. Once you place your two single crochets in your last stitch, you should have 40 in the round. Make sure you count them here. All right, so now we're just going to slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. And this is where things will change. All right, so right now all sizes should be right here. All right, so what we're going to do here, let me get a nice close up because this round is going to change a little. So we have been working in these stitches that you see right here, yeah? What comprises of a stitch is a front loop and a back loop for single crochet, all right? So what we're going to do in this round is we're going to change a stitch firstly, and then we're going to work in the back loops only, all right? So what we're going to do in this round is half double crochet US or half treble UK. So chaining your one first, yarn over your hook. You need to pop your hook in the same stitch that you are in but in the back loop only of that stitch right there. So there should be a front loop there and a back loop at the back. Pull your loop through like so, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, grab your stitch marker. Now this is a half double US or a half treble UK. That's what we'll be working on until the last couple of rounds. All right, so pop your stitch marker in your half double and you are going to do a half double in each stitch in the round. So yarn over your hook, 
in the back loop of each stitch in the round I should say pull a loop through yarn over pull through all three loops and we'll do that again no more increasing just half doubles in that back loop there yarn over back loop complete your stitch like so all right so that's a little too close now i just wanted to do it to show you exactly where to go but half double into every back loop you come to no more increasing we're done with the increasing that's it that's as big as your bag's going to get now heads up if you wanted your bag my yarn is caught if you wanted your bag bigger you could do another one of those single rounds and then do another increase of two singles four in a row two singles four in a row you could do that but we're going to keep our bag at this measurement here for now all right so you can increase whenever you want you can make your bag or basket as big as you want entirely up to you course that would mean your ears would have to change size your handle would have to change size there's a lot of things that would need to change size all right so I'm not going to show you anymore I think you know what you're doing and I keep getting caught my yarn keeps getting caught look at it <laughs> that's what's happening to it but anyway um I would like for you to do a half double crochet and you can actually see it see the line it's making that's what we're looking for all right because what's going to happen is that's going to turn up eventually but for now, I want you to put half double crochet US or half treble UK in the back loops of every stitch. Get to your last stitch right there and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, what you should have is this. For those of you who have 32 stitches in the round, yours should be the same. If you've got 40 stitches in the round, yours should be the same as well. And everyone should have that little ridge looking line right there. Yep. All right, so let's slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. All right, remove that stitch marker like so. Notice how I tighten that up all the time, yeah. In this round, in, and every round afterwards, make sure this is tightened up really well. Chain one and tighten it up really well. Then yarn over your hook, pop your hook in the same stitch. Not the front loop or the back loop or anything like that, just straight into the same stitch with your half double crochet US, half treble UK. Pop your stitch marker in and you are doing just that. Straight into every stitch, make sure you're not missing any. So straight into every stitch so there's no more back loops. Straight into every stitch all the way across and don't lose your thread like I just did all right so it's very simple this round every stitch all the way across way too easy so much so that I'm going very fast aren't I <laughs> it's very easy so as you get to the end of the round you will notice this is bowing that's what we want we want that to bow now. That's going to grow. The sides will be growing. All right. So go ahead and pop a half double crochet into each stitch, not the back loops, just into each stitch. Get to your very last stitch and I'll meet you there once you're done. All righty, guys. So what you're starting to see is that. How gorgeous is that? Now, before we continue, we're going to actually just leave that out and we're going to weave in this end. All right. This is why I asked you to leave long tails. Don't assume that you just cut it here and it's all over. Mm, no, you need to weave that end in. So I'm just separating the threads because this is a really thin needle. And I've done this on purpose because I'm going to thread one one way and one the other. All right, just real quickly. We're not going to fuss too much, but I'm going to skip that loop that we're in, go over it a little bit, and then just go into some threads in the round and you can check the front if you like more likely you won't go through because this is double threaded yeah but still check it anyway and you're just pulling that loop I'm sorry the needle through like so oh, and the loop I suppose if you will oh it's gone really tight <laughs> I don't think this is going to come undone but still you you do still want to weave these ends in you know don't think that it won't come undone because it can all right. I'm not going to weave it in much because I'm going to weave 
one <laughs> one side like that I'm not even going to overdo this because I know for a fact that we're separating the yarn so that's going to stop it already from coming undone yeah not sure if you know what I mean but we're splitting that yarn in half so it's going to be too difficult to come undone now this one we went this way and with this needle we're going this way in fact there's the thread from the other needle from the other side It's not going to come undone, all right? So that is out of your hair. You don't need to worry about it anymore. The reason you don't need to worry about it anymore is because we're going to have some instructions in a moment and then you're going to head off on your own and do a gazillion rounds, yeah? First thing we're going to do is slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker, pull your loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook and tighten it up. And then just pull out that stitch marker. Now remember, 32 stitches in the round for the small bag and 40 stitches in the round for the larger bag. All right. So tighten it up a little bit. Chain one half double in the same stitch that you are in, like so. You might find it a little tight because we've tightened it up. That's the idea, just so we don't show too much of a gap there in the round. Okay. And there you go. Guess what? This is the easy part. Make, find the first stitch and do a half double. Half double or half treble UK. Half, we'll just call it half since we know what it is. Half, and you guessed it, half. And that's pretty much the pattern for the next gazillion rounds. To be exact, now depending on the size that you are going to make, if you are making this one here, you've got one, two, three, four, five rounds. So you've already done two, you need to do another three rounds if you want the smaller size and you want this color combo. So three rounds and then another two and then another one. And then we're all going to meet back, all right? Now with our color combination, you need to do eight rounds all together. Now you've already done the two, so you need to do another six rounds of cream. Meet me back here and then just pop your green up the top there, which we're all going to do together, all right? So everyone's going to do the cream rounds together, okay? And it's one, two for the larger bag. You are going to need another 10 more rounds in the cream. And then meet me back here and we will add the purple. All right, so this is the green bag. We're making the purple one today. You can do either one. You can mix and match colors if you like. But to be fair, I found mix and matching colors ended up with a gazillion tails inside. And it's going to take forever for me to weave them in. <laughs> Just a heads up there. All right, so go ahead and do the amount of rounds that you need for your bag. There they are again. And meet me back here in a moment and we will talk about what we're going to do next. Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of my uh, 10 rounds. So all together I should have 12 and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rounds. Alright, but you know what? If you wanted to make yours bigger, you can. If you didn't like the 12 rounds and you wanted two less, you can. It doesn't matter. It's very versatile. You can change it to suit you. But in the meantime, we are going to start... Um, finishing off our rounds now that's also for the small bag uh, your small bag should be um, eight rounds all together all right so for now what we're going to do I've got my scissors handy and ready we are going to slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker like so like normal pull a loop through and just chain one Pull up a loop and cut your cream. You will no longer be using that. All right, that's going to be tucked in. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our um, next color. And some of you may be using the green and some of you may be using the purple. I'm going to be using the purple. And what we're going to do is pop our hook straight back in that stitch that we started off with. So grabbing your colour, whichever that may be, mine is the purple. Remember you are using two threads at the same time. Pop your hook into the stitch with your stitch marker. Oh, let's bring that up a little bit. 
that's better. Remove your stitch marker. So you're placing your thread over your hook and you're just, whoops, try it again, and you're just pulling some loops through. Now grab the tail ends of your purple and give it a, a bit of a nice long tail for weaving it in later. Pass it forward. We don't actually knot here when we add a new thread. So I tend to pass it forward. It locks it into place, yeah? Then you chain one. And we are going back to our single crochets. So what we're going to do, just keeping that thread in front for a minute. So single crochet in the same stitch that you are in, and you know how to do that. We did that before with our base round, okay? So pop in your hook in the space, pull a loop through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both those loops, grabbing your stitch marker. And as usual, just popping it in the top two loops, okay? Super easy. Now, we're not going to crochet over these tails. We're going to weave them in later, but just pop them inside your bag and out of the way. And what we're going to do is just pop a single crochet into each stitch in the round. Don't do these single crochets too tight. Don't leave them too loose either, but don't do them too tight. We're just going to do one round of single crochet for now. Easy, 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 all right? So I'm not gonna sit here and let you watch me do this. I would like for you to do one round of single crochet all the way around and get to your very last stitch right there and meet me there once you're done. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the end of this round. Now I have left one stitch less. This is not necessary for you to do this, right? But see those cream tails? I'm just gonna grab them in my hand at the back. And again, it's not necessary, but we're going to pop a, our hook in that very last single crochet and complete the stitch. Just giving that little cream yarn a bit of a tug. And it'll close things up. You will see that little knotted area a bit there, but once we close it up and do the next round, that will not be noticeable, yeah? So you pop your hook into the stitch with your stitch marker, pull a loop through, and pull it through to the loop on your hook. So it's already closed up that little bit. If you did your count correct, you would still have 40 stitches for the larger bag and 32 for the smaller one. Remove your stitch marker for a moment. Guess what? We're going to do another round. Yep, yeah, easy. Chain one, single in the same stitch, pull a loop through like so, like normal, and off you go. Doing your single crochets in every stitch in the round. It's super duper duper easy. And I do say that often in some of my tutorials, but this one here is because you've just done this round and all you're doing is repeating it. All right? Single crochet in every stitch until you get to your very last stitch and I'll meet you there once you're done and get ready for the handles. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the end of this round and I'm just going to, that's the last stitch I've already completed and I'm just going to slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker, pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook, notice I tightened that up, chain one, just hold it there for a minute. Remove your stitch marker for one moment. All right. What I want you to do from this stitch is count 20 across for those of you with 40 stitches, count 20 across. For those of you with 32 stitches, count 16 across and pop a stitch marker in that stitch. So what you have is the first and the 20th stitch for your 40 and the first and the 16th stitch for your 32 stitches, all right? So what we're going to do is start our chains this way and go backward and forward like that. Right. In the meantime, take out your stitch marker and uh, we will start by making chains. Now, if you've got the larger bag, you need to make a chain of 36. With the smaller bag, you need to make a chain of 30. You can, however, change the size of your handles to suit you. Uh, but for my larger bag, I'm making a chain of 36. I've got one there already. Two, three, four, five, and so on. All right, chain to 36. I'm going to pop this on fast. And also chain to 30 if you've got the smaller bag. And off we go. Six.
35 and 36. I forgot to mention not to move your work around too much. You need to keep these chains straight. So picking up your bag like so and where your stitch marker is right there, you're going to pop your hook straight in that stitch marker. And let's just show you again, keeping the tail at the back there, popping your hook into the stitch marker stitch, pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook hook like so. Now if you didn't move your chains around it should be nice and straight for you to work on. All right what we're going to do is slip stitch into the next stitch, pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook and now we're going to turn our work and single crochet in these uh, stitches that we created. Now you can do your single crochets in any space you want skipping that first stitch that we in our slip stitch and going into our first now you can have two loops on top or one whichever suits you I do prefer the two loops on top so I'm going through two loops pull the loop through and I'll show you a closer in a minute and do your single crochet so right there let's do a nice close-up see that right there and there's two loops on top all right two and three and so on all the way across super easy yeah all right so I'm going to pop this on fast for you okay and we will do our single crochets all the way across and you should have 36 single crochets all together all right and off we go How are you going guys? I struggled. <laughs> I struggled towards the end. It just all oh, my yarn kept getting knotted and it was just a big mess over there. You don't want to see it. Do you want to see it? I'll show you in a minute. Look at that. Everything just collapsed. <laughs> it just collapsed. So single crochet in that last stitch. I think I might have another one right there, the real tight one. Like so pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook. Now if you're anything like mine, just check your piece and make sure you're okay. What we want to do is just pass our work over and slip stitch into the opposite. All right, so if you want to do another round, you slip stitch into the stitch next to it, like so. Pull a loop through, not so tight. Turn your work and then just single crochet back into the very first stitch, like so and single crochet all the way across. If you find that your handle needs um, a little bit more thickness, by all means do it like this. If not, don't stress, <laughs> don't stress. You don't need another hand, you don't need a thicker handle if you don't want to, you can just leave it as the one round, all right? Which meant just fastening off, which we'll show you how to do that at the end of this row. All right, so I'm going to let you Head off on your own, do a single crochet all the way across, get to your very last stitch and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, so here I am at the end of this section. I think I have one more single crochet to go, which is right there. Single crochet in that last stitch, right there. And then, see that slip stitch that you're already in? Don't go in there, go into the very next slip stitch like so, pulling a loop through like so, pull up your loop, you don't need any more, trust me, that's it, alright, so when you pull that loop up, we're going to work on uh, sewing that 
in. Maybe we can actually sew it through the next stitch or something or sew it down in. We'll think about that later. All right, so you're probably thinking why my handle's a little bit further over. That's okay, because in front we're going to have bunny ears right there. Now these ones are going to be a little different than the green, but I would suggest doing these ones and not the green. They are a little bit too far apart, all right? But before we do our ears, what we're going to do is find the center right there. You can count if you like, or you can just do that. Find the center and pop uh, one stitch marker just in the center. All right, just in the center for now. Then opening up your bag, okay? And then just trying to find the center of your handles. See where your handles are right there? Yeah, that's your center. All right, so what you're going to do now is you're gonna pop, before we do the ears, we're gonna put the pom-pom on, all right? So your ears are centered now, right there. Well, not done yet, but they're going to. And what you want to do is just grab this stitch marker and go down to about four rows up for the large bag or three rows up for the smaller bag, all right? So it's one, two, three, and four, and you're popping your stitch marker around the center. Just make sure it's even with that and it's not. So I'm gonna go into the very next stitch. Is it even, if you wanna grab your, uh, hook and just do that you'll say roughly even and it doesn't matter if it's a tiny little bit off it's a pom-pom yeah and your pom-pom when we wait when we create it will go right there all right so and then what you will do actually is you'll pop your pom-pom a little bit up so in between those next two threads but don't worry about that for now we're just popping our stitch marker so in the meantime we're going to make our pom-pom it's going to be so quick and it's basic all right so let's make the pom-pom with the pom-pom, all we're doing is grabbing one thread. Maybe grab three fingers and separate them a little bit. Okay, just leave that thread down there a little bit, just so you know what you're doing. And wrap your yarn around the three fingers, keeping them gently separated, not a lot. Like that. And now you are going to just drop everything and tie this thread over your threads, like so. Nice and tight. Give it one more knot. Nice and tight. Leave the tails long for a moment because you're going to use those to attach to your bag, if you will. And there you go. Then you grab your bag, simple, simple. Grab your hook. And remember how I said just before your stitch marker, you're gonna pop your hook in and pull these loops through to your bag. Oh, did it work? A little bit, like so. Take out that stitch marker because it's you know now in the way. If you want, you can move your bag inside out, which is probably better for now. And it's easier for you to, literally, you might find that'll come undone. So what we're going to do is just take one loop out through to the thread. 
just pulling it back through the other thread like so I'll show you what I did there so you can see it I pull one thread on this side one thread on the other side and we're just going to tie that in a knot all right now if you don't want to cut this like if you don't want to weave this thread in because sometimes pom-poms can get a bit funny and you want to replace them or whatever just tie it in a gazillion knots it's not going to come undone yeah tie it in a gazillion knots like so i don't even know how many i've done five <laughs> There you go. That's not going to come undone. And just give it a cut and keep it short. And that way, if you want to take it undone later, you can. No one's going to see it. It's going to be inside the bag. And you have yourself one little pom-pom. It's so cute. Oh, I'm not even in frame. Excuse me. How's that? Oh, look at that. It's so cute. Now, again, if you want to trim it again, I've got one piece sticking out right there. I'm going to trim that because... Being careful not to trim your bag. I'll leave that. Ta-da! Again, you want to trim it a bit more, you can. I'm not going to fuss too much. I'm going to leave my little guy like that. And now we're going to work on the ears. Alrighty, now that we have done our little pom-pom, everything's attached, you may notice that yours truly has no ends left. I've weaved them all in. What I did, so I've left one here for you. So let's just quickly grab that final purple which for you might be the first purple now the first purple what I did was because there's two strands as you know the first one I just turned it around and I took this let's bring it up so you can see when all I did was go back into that stitch there now I'm doubling up for me you can probably put yours in another area but for me I'm going straight back into that stitch and then I went across this way and you can see it's a tiny little bit thicker than the rest and I'm thinking that's going to really thicken up if I do that. But I'm going to start it. And being careful, if you're going in the same direction, it's possible it'll be so thick that you won't be able to uh, weave in. All right, so I'm just going to make a different, whole different area way over here. Oh, no, there's no point. It's so tight. Look at that. That is so not coming undone. All right, so that'll be the end of that. And what I want you to do is to weave in all your other ends when you get an opportunity. All right. But in the meantime, we are going to fuss. <laughs> we are going to fuss. Do you like that? We are going to make our ears for the bunny. All right. So leave that stitch marker there. You're going to need that later. But for now, let's start the ears. Now, the ears we're doing separately and then we're going to attach. All right. So grab the tail end. Remember, you are still crocheting with two strands and you're using the same color that you use for the rim or the border okay and I am actually going to drop half a hook size it'll make the ears a little bit um, you know tighter a little bit stronger okay so this is what we use for the bag and this is what I'm using for the ears and with your tail ends wrap the yarn over your finger once and twice leaving a nice long tail you're going to need that later and what you're doing is holding it there holding it there pass your back loop halfway over your finger Hold it there, pass the other loop all the way over and pop your hook in. Get excited guys, we're nearing the end of this tutorial. Chain 13, yarn over your hook, pull a loop through once, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and 13 and now we're going to work on these chains all the way down in different size stitches so the first one is a single crochet and it goes into that loop right there all right so pop your hook in the loop pull a loop through two loops on your hook yarn over pull through both those loops you're doing another three more single crochets so and we're only going that top loop yeah because we're going to need the rest of it later so one two three all right so all together you have one two three four single crochets and now we're going to do three half doubles that's half doubles us half trebles uk so yarn over your hook into the stitch pull a loop through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops yarn over your hook 
do it again in the next stitch pull a loop through three loops yarn over pull through all three you've got one more into the very next stitch and off you go doing your last half all right and now we're doing four double crochets us four trebles uk yarn over your hook in the next stitch pull a loop through three loops yarn over pull through two two loops yarn over pull through the last two now you know these you've done them before so you've got a second one there and your third that's your third and your last one or your fourth one is right there you should have one stitch left so put your fourth one in first all right and in the last stitch right there we're going to put five double crochets exactly what we've done here but we want five of them all in the same stitch and fifth all right so you're getting that tail and you're just dropping it at the back so you can see the stitches all right so let's start by showing your very first uh, set of five which is right there so your next stitch will be right there we are now crocheting down this way so you need to do another four double crochets three half doubles and four singles all right, I had to look at my paperwork then. Sorry, guys. So four half, uh, four double crochets, and you're going in that top loop. One. Whoops, pulling now. Two. Three. Whoops, yarn splitting all over the place. Three. And four. Three half doubles. You're popping your hook in, pulling a loop through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and you're doing a second one. It's a bit tricky when you're using a smaller hook and thicker yarn, and you're doing a third one. And the rest singles. So one, two, three, and what was left? The fourth one, right there. Whoops, there. All right. You're not going anywhere with this. All you're doing is pulling up a loop, grabbing your scissors giving it a cut. I've left a long tail because we're going to be sewing that to the back um, or to the inside of our bag. But you're not finished with that yet. You want to grab the cream now. All right, so grab your cream. Again, you still have your two threads, yeah? You're going to pop your hook in the very first single crochet that we did. Now, that would be a little bit tight. Mm, we're still using our 3.5 millimeter hook okay here we go oh we're in no we're not in that's better all right so pull a loop through like normal just a normal loop through and this is the final row guys get excited or should i say round yeah so chaining one i just put my a thread forward to lock it into place single in the first and just pop it down again you're going to use that to sew into your bag as well and then single all the way across. That is how easy this is until you get to the fifth stitch. Oh, I might have to count it with you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's take that undone. Not the fifth stitch, the, the middle one of the five stitches up there, yeah? So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oops, ten, <laughs> try it again, ten, eleven, 
Oh, keep pulling that thread out. Anyways, 11. And where are we? Yep, 12. 13. If I didn't keep splitting the stitches, we'd be all right. Now in the 14th stitch right there, you're going to put three single crochets. One, two. Let's try it again. Two and three, all in the same stitch. And then single all the rest down. That's all you're doing. All the way until you get to the base of your ear. Pull up a loop, give your tail a cut. Notice that big long tail. I didn't really need a big long tail like that. But that is your ear complete. Now you're going to grab your little baggie. Yeah, if I can bring it out a bit. There we go. And we are going to pop our ears on the inside of the bag like that. And you want to go down at least, and I'll tell you exactly how many um, stitches down. One, two, three, four. So you want to go down one, two, three, and four. In fact, it might pay to pop a stitch marker in it. One, two, three, and four stitches down. Grab your other stitch marker, get excited. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Yep. All right, so that's just to show you where I want you to drop your ear to, right there. Ta-da! Right there and alrighty guys I've re-recorded the ear because yours truly th that was far too over for my liking now so maybe the ears are going to be too far apart so what I'm going to do is to tell you not to go that far apart yeah but for me I'm going to go that far apart so everyone grab your little ear and count one two three oh hang on that's three, four over. You need four stitches over like that. Yeah. And the same on the opposite side. Count four stitches over. Ooh, throwing it all over the place. Okay, so one, two, three. Hang on, one, two, three, and four. Like that. And what you want to do for you, instead of going like I've done here, one, two, over, I just want you to move over by one. So there's your stitch marker. Just go over by one and start popping your ear there. It looks better there than where I've got it. All right. Now I have to move mine over because, well, mine's moved over here. So I've got one, two. So you guys just go over by one and you start right. Let's show you what I mean by one. One stitch over and you're moving right up to that second one. And you're starting at the second one. Whereas I, when I did one before, I started after the third one. I should have actually started after the second stitch across. All right. So you guys start right there. Me, I'm going to have to move mine over to here just to match the other side. All right. But you just start right there because your ears will look better if they are closer together and not so far apart. I'm going to have to leave mine because mine's, you know, already made that way and I don't want to be cutting into my work so there you go all right so what you want to do is grab your blue and attach your stitch marker so grab another stitch marker and just attach your piece to your ear right there you can take that stitch marker out now because you've already got that attached so that's all right and you're going to do the same with the other side so grab the ear I mean the blue and place it right there grab another stitch marker and just attach it to your piece for now and then you can take that stitch marker out all right so that is where you need to attach your ear all right mine obviously is wrong a little bit wrong but yours will be better because you will have yours closer to your stitch marker here all right so in the meantime grab yourself the thread now what we want to do is 
we want to be able to attach the purple along here as well. So we're just going to start with the white along here. Let's try it, cream, Mary. Uh, attaching the cream along here. And with that side there, you can attach this way and work that way, all right? So we're going to start with one of the cream threads. So just grab one of the cream threads that's closest to your stitch marker. Yeah, anyone, doesn't matter. Thread it. All right, now what you want to do is keep that straight and not do a Mary trick like that. <laughs> two and a half there. So I'm going to have to keep my two and a half to make it look the same. Yeah. But with you, it's just one stitch away. Okay. Don't make it as far apart as mine. And so what you want to do is grab your cream and attach it into any stitch of your bag. Yeah. And just do that. I need to pull that tail a little bit and just do that. And then go into your stitch through a few threads if you like. You know, you can split a little bit of the uh, ear if you like. And then back over to your bag, going through some of the white at the back. And then back into your stitch anywhere you want on the ear because it's on the inside and won't be noticeable. All right, but with the uh, purple, when you get here, you want to go through some of the stitching. Just be careful you can't see the needle from the front here. Yeah? So you're going through the stitching of, some of the stitching only of the purple and through the whole stitch of the ear because it's white and it won't be noticeable. So through some of the stitching of that purple right there. Oops, being careful that your needle doesn't show and it's not. If your needle shows, then your white thread will be showing and you don't want that. Okay. So straight back into the white there. All right. Before you do anything else, all I want you to do is weave this. I keep saying white. This is cream, Mary. Just weave it through some of your stitching at the back. You're done with this stitch. You're going to use the other cream. Oh, I went through some thicknesses there. No, can't see it. Good. You're going to use the other cream to attach this way or back up a little bit more. You can if you like. But you're going to have a lot of tails left over anyway. You can use it to support the bag or you can just weave it in and out all right so now we're going to use the purple to attach the inner part of the ear to the bag and then we'll go back and use the other white or the other cream the two that's here to attach up and down there all right but if you use the purple to attach there your ear is not going to move very much all right so you grab some of that purple right there Anyone, it doesn't matter, they're all the same. And what you have an excess of, you just weave that end in. But for now, it's a little bit messy, the bag, I'm sorry. It looks like a big disheveled mess right now, doesn't it? There's tails everywhere. <laughs> That's normal. All right, so grab your purple and just, you know, find some thread first just to weave it into. Try not to unravel what you just made, yeah? And just weave it up a little bit. Doesn't matter if that shows, it's on the inside of your bag, no one will see it. All right, so now you're close to the purple. What I want you to do is actually attach your ear to the purple, making sure you're not moving it out of place. Keep it straight, keep that attached there and that attached. Well, you don't need that anymore, but you can leave it there if you like for now and just keep it attached there and you want to literally attach your purple may have to remove the stitch marker to do this part or if you're fiddly enough you can do it through here now you'll have to remove it so move it there pop that there grab the other stitch marker and pop it opposite right there all right and it doesn't matter how far over you go really it doesn't it doesn't matter if you stretch your ear a little bit it doesn't matter if his ears a tiny little bit bigger on one side there's a lot you know it doesn't matter Poor little guy, he's lopsided, yeah? <laughs> We've got a lopsided ear. All right, and it's okay, little floppy ears, fine. So what you want to do is just attach to the back of your bag, yeah? And then, there you go, he's moved over. And making sure you're keeping your stitch markers straight there. And you're attaching a little bit here. Just some thread there, anything, doesn't matter. 
All right, now making sure your uh, little blues match and you're going to attach over to the last thread on this side right there. And then the rest is going to be attached by your creams, yeah? If it seems all too fiddly, just sew it in place. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. All right, so now we're here. I'm going to go through one more purple there like that and then I'm going to remove the stitch markers because I think that purple would have kept it nice and sturdy for now and then all you have to do is fill in the creams on the side all right it was just a matter of getting that one side done I can remove that one too getting the one side of the cream done and the purple and then the, the cream is easy now what I want you to do is just grab some purple at the back and weave it in if you feel like you need to sew a bit more on, you can. I'm just going to weave mine in. I don't think we need any more. I'm not going to over fuss with weaving either. Okay, that's it. Because in a minute you're going to use the cream here to do exactly on this side what you did on this side here. All right, I don't think I'm going to show you that. You know what you do. Just thread your needle and sew up along here. Weave in all these ends. Remove this little stitch marker right here. And you'll notice that your bunny ears, here we go, <laughs> we're coming out, uh, will be a lot closer than mine, which will mean they'll look a bit better. And yeah, my guy doesn't look too good with his bad ears. Now, this guy here was made totally different and I didn't like the way his ears came out here. So I actually wanted to push those two in as well. And I also crocheted these ears on and I didn't like the way that sat. And one sat up and one sat down. It probably would have looked good too. <laughs> but this guy here, I love the ears on him. And if I had just moved them closer in, they would have looked 100% better. So make sure when you weave yours in, your ears are a little bit closer. They look so much better when they're closer, yeah? But it doesn't matter because this is what's going to happen to it. Oh, yummy. Put one of these guys in as well. Want a handful of these little ones? Sure, why not? What about a couple of these? <laughs> How much can we get in this bag? Wow. There's heaps in there. <laughs> Ta-da! There's your little guy. That's your little bunny bag. And this one, well, we can fit as much as we want in there. Put a couple of these, couple of these, couple of these, couple of these. I haven't weaved in the ends in there, but don't look at that. Yeah. <laughs> and I oh, you know what? They're all the same colour. Let's get a different colour. Why? Oh, why not? Here we go. Put that guy in there. Oh, and you know what? It's not enough that we have enough. Uh, prezzies for the little ones what about the ones that are working really hard not to put on so much weight well we'll put that in here let's take this guy out and put him in there <laughs> that's for mum <laughs> well wait a minute that one can go in here you know why because mum got herself a real big one <laughs> and the real big one can go right there <laughs> we'll, we'll hide it behind the bunny because you know it's too healthy to show <laughs> go so that's it guys there's your it's a little bit over full i think let's take out mama's one <laughs> we took out mummy mummy's one can that'll go down really well later mummy's one <laughs> so there you go guys that is your gorgeous little bunny bags with the little handles with the little ears and with the little pom-pom tails so there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all the wonderful things that you guys will pretty much already do for me. And a very special thank you. Let's take that out because you're taking up way too much pop up you these in there. Um, a very special thank you to the lovely Elaine for her colour combination in today's uh, tutorial uh, during Live Antics. All right, now Live Antics, we have Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. Marry that up with your country. And uh, any lucky subscriber on that live will get a chance to choose a colour combination of our next tutorial. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do all the wonderful things that you guys always do for me. And all I want to say right now is Happy Easter. Enjoy your yummies. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Ciao for now.